Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here are some timely updates for you. Typhoons have been causing difficulties for tilapia farmers and processors in southern China. Seasonal flooding has made accessing ponds in some areas of southern China impossible. Further, farmers lost valuable fish during the typhoons that swept across the area. Processing plants had to close during the storms and have since had difficulty getting fish to the production facilities. Though prices should be rising at this time of the year, due to these factors, the market remains low. And even though prices have not changed significantly, storms have caused production delays that are now up to 45 days past original shipping dates. Now on to a topic suggested by one of our Twitter followers who, is, who was interested in our views on the coming whitefish market and Norway Baltic cod quotas. So over the next two episodes we will be looking at the Northeast Atlantic cod and haddock. Specifically we will look at Russian and Norway supply. Quotas for Northeast Atlantic cod and haddock from Russia and Norway is regulated by the Joint Norwegian Russian Fisheries Commission. Quotas are based on advice from the International Council for the Exploration of the Sea. Although Russia and Norway are, at the primary, are the primary, primary harvesters of these species, the resource is shared with Iceland, Greenland and the Faroe Islands. The resource is closely monitored and regulated to ensure stocks are not depleted due to overharvesting. The 2012 quota for Atlantic cod is 751,000 metric tons an increase of 48,000 tons versus the 2011 quota. The supply may increase again in 2013 as the ISIS has recommended a more than 25% increase in the 2013 Northeast Atlantic Cod quota. The recommendation is for 940,000 metric tons, 237,000 tons over the 2011 quota. Although recommended by ICES, the actual quota won't be set until October. Norwegian and Russian officials are attributing the healthy fish stocks to many years of good fisheries management and continued cooperation between Norway and Russia. If increased supply from 2011 to 2012 was a factor in the current poor market condition, processors may be hit hard with a quota announcement in October. Currently, the market for Atlantic cod is flat and prices are soft. Raw material prices are down 10 to 15 percent over 2011 prices, with the strong possibility they will slide further down. Loin prices for Atlantic cod are down by 30 to 40 cents per pound U.S. dollars over the last year. One concern to processors and harvesters of Atlantic cod is the pricing of Pacific cod. Pacific cod pricing is extremely low, falling 30 percent over last year's pricing with consumers being more price conscientious, conscious than ever, the Atlantic cod market is very fragile. An increase in quota or a further drop in the Pacific cod prices could send Atlantic cod prices tumbling downward. We will take a look at North Atlantic haddock in detail next week in episode 98. And remember, if you have any comments or suggestions on topics you'd like to hear on future webcasts, Email us at x at tradexfoods.com or tweet us at tradexfoods. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.